What was that? What's in it? <gasps> oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> she's been beaten. Oh no. I think she's been murdered. Oh my god. I think she's been murdered. This week, the rescue mediums visit this museum in the picturesque town of Penetanguishene, where unexplained events have convinced the staff that the museum contains more than mere artifacts. I've been hearing stories about ghosts since the very beginning. A lot of our visitors that come in will ask if there's a ghost here. They say they feel it when they walk in the door. Upstairs in, in the hallway, there's a large church pew. It was just as if like the Jolly Green Giant had picked it up and literally slammed it to the floor. The first day I was here, it started with me. I was down here cleaning up, and I heard something dropped, dragged. You could hear each step being hit and bang. I felt something was there. I was scared that it would definitely come after me. It's really picturesque. Do you know, that's a very good word to describe it. Walking the line, the rescue mediums are on their way to help. Jackie and Allison are internationally renowned psychics who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. The rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. It's like a nice area we're going to, doesn't it? Mmm, it does. The exact location of the museum has been kept secret until now. Although days earlier, they had some eerie premonitions. Feeling of somebody behind you. Feel very much like there's a presence right there, mm. like you're being watched. Cries for help. Right. Whispers or low mumbling. I'll walk into a room and I'll hear the end of a conversation. Feeling as if there are many spirits in the house. In addition to their premonitions, the rescue mediums have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to find during their investigation. It doesn't look like a house, does it? As Jackie and Alison arrive at the troubled museum... It could be an institution, something. Let's go in and find out, eh? Yeah. The staff anxiously await their arrival. I really want to know what the rescue mediums are going to find here. So we know if it's good or evil. If it's someone who would like to move on, it would be really nice if they would be able to assist them in that. The odds are that there would be someone here that might be connected to something that we have, because we have a lot of old family treasures here. Jackie and Allison are the rescue mediums. Psychics who make Hello. house calls. I'm Jackie. Hi, I'm Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Jan, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Jan. Hi, Asha. Asha. Hi, Asha. Moving to the main floor of the museum, the rescue mediums sit down to present their premonitions. Ghostly figure that's been seen with the naked eye. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Feelings as if there are many spirits in the building. Yes. You would with somewhere like this, <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Whispers or low mumblings, especially at night. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming with fright. Yes. yes. And then we've got this one. OK. That's very familiar. Very okay. familiar. I can yes. see that. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, now, that oh. is an entirely different feel, but there's sadness about her. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Come so. on, then. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Next. This is like a vault. Ah! OK. What was that? Ah! Pass. I can hear her screaming. History comes alive. It's like, get out of my way. Oh, somebody's stabbing. Oh. What's in it? <gasps> Oh, my God, that's horrible. Jackie and Allison are investigating this haunted museum in Penetanguishene, where the staff have experienced inexplicable events. A 
skirt going by the doors. In the great hall, again, wheels like a stroller being pushed across the floor. It was kind of going bump, 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 bump. I, I don't have an explanation for it. Jackie and Allison begin their investigation by exploring the perimeter of the museum's property. That's a loud bird, isn't it? Where is it? I don't know, but it's very loud. That's what you've drawn. Oh, it is? That's it. This structure bears a strong resemblance to one of Alison's psychic drawings. We were meant to see this. Yeah, definitely. I think this indicates that the land is significant somehow. It's significant, somehow. yes. Somebody's just said separate the wheat from the chaff. Oh. Mm. Well, we do need to sort out who needs rescuing, who's just there because they like to be there. wonder how many we've got that need help. wonder if there's more than one. The grounds of the museum resonate with psychic energy, but the inside has yet to be explored. Hmm. It's just gone really quiet all of a sudden. Sort of deathly quiet. Mm, don't say that. I know. What's that? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Dolly. Do you know, we're not going to have to get too drawn into... I know, when we're putting our hands on the items and we could be picking up on who mm -hmm. they belong to and they may not have just had one owner. This is going to be a difficult one. Knowing that any item they touch will radiate the psychic residue of its former owner, Jackie and Alison work to sort through the vibrations within the room. Right. Let's see where we go. Oh, there's a man just walked in. A male presence has felt. It's like, get out of my way. Like, it's really important. Ooh. Like, I'm coming through weather or I'm not. In, I'm important. Yeah. Watch out. It's gone round the corner. It's gone round the corner. OK. The male spirit exits. The rescue mediums follow his trail. This is like a vault or something. Oh, this feels odd. Isn't it really quiet in here? Yeah. Did you heavy breathe then? No. You did? I didn't. Somebody did. I want to get out. OK. I heard it and it that, sounded like it was behind you. That feels really yeah. creepy in there. What was that? There's a woman. Oh, no, We're I heard it. Walking past. Ooh. Ooh. I can hear her screaming. A troubled female spirit is sighted. Just screaming. I can't even make out what she's saying because it's just like... <sighs> Jackie and Alison wish to establish firmer contact. Hello? A man's here again. The very important man. OK, where well, are you trying to lead us to? The male spirit reappears. Again, the rescue mediums follow his trail. Whoever he is, he is definitely helping. It was an office with lots of books. Oh, crikey, yeah. We've definitely got that lady still with us. Yeah. She's been with us the whole time we've been here. Yeah, she's following us round, isn't she? Yes, she? yeah. Oh, gosh. Like a wild cat, this woman. She's really... Uh... This has a real creepy feeling about it. Oh, somebody stab him. Here. Oh, like with something really sharp. Making his point. I think it's the end of a bayonet. Flipping heck. So I wonder if it's a soldier then. It's definitely a soldier. A third spirit suddenly materialises. So we've got a few different people then, haven't we? It's like where is safe to go and where is not safe to go though, isn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look through here. What that. was that? I think it was coming from over there. Really old-fashioned wheelchair. <sighs> the residual vibrations in the museum's artefacts are strong. We're getting a oh lot God. of different images, aren't we? I know. And you were in a place like this. I know. Jackie and Alison concentrate on locating the troubled spirits earlier met. Oh, Alison, this one's just opened. No. Yeah, look. 
What's in it? <gasps> oh my god, that's horrible. Look, 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 look. You can see it, it's oh horrible. Oh my god. That is awful. That is really spooky. Can't look at it. Next. Just went dead weird when I come in here. The spirits of the Penetanguishy Museum. What was that? Gather in the Great Hall. Oh, no. She's been beaten. Oh, no. I think she's been murdered. Oh, my God. I think she's been murdered. Searching among the artefacts of the Penetanguishy Museum, Jackie and Alison have met three spirits. A self-important male spirit... It's like, get out of my way, like, it's really important. Ooh. ..who seems eager to help. A troubled female presence... Ooh. Oh, somebody stab him. Oh! And a soldier. The end of a bayonet. It's definitely a soldier. So, okay. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. I think we've got our work cut out here. <laughs> the soldier's spirit has felt. <coughs> Choking on my own blood. Oh my god, that's horrible. It's awful. The soldier's spirit rushes up the stairs. We're going to push the light up yeah, these stairs we'll push with it up us. with us, yeah. OK. Jackie and Alison follow, yeah. pushing yeah. white light behind him. And then once we've got okay. through here... We'll we can seal, seal the door. OK, so they can't escape back down there again. Yeah. With their psychic barrier built, the rescue mediums seek further contact with the spirit. I'm really drawn to this area. That man's here again, the very important man. He went in there, didn't he? Yes, he, he went did. In there. The rescue mediums follow the helper spirit and continue flooding the museum with white light to corral the spirit. Got to have come this way. Right, let's seal this. Jackie and Alison continue to tighten their psychic net. Oh, gosh. I'm okay. really being pulled in. The very important man. Once again, the self-important male spirit guides them. I'm pushing the light because otherwise we're snookered. This time to the museum's great hall. OK. Honest to God, I've just went dead weird when I come in here. My legs just buckled. I wasn't tripping up. It, my legs just felt like they buckled under me. Maybe. Maybe we should pay more attention to this room, then. Jackie and Alison feel a tremendous energy radiation from the Great Hall. To discover its source, the rescue mediums focus their powers. OK. That man's here again. Charles! Charles. Charles. Yeah. This is a, a portal that's opened, yeah. but he's opened it. He's a gatekeeper. He's a he gatekeeper, and he'll bring them all into this room. And he shows them how to go to the light. What was that? That didn't even sound human. Can see a woman on the floor. The troubled female spirit manifests. She's crouched right down on the floor in a cell. <laughs> Can you hear her screaming? Oh, no. She's being beaten. Oh, my she God. She's being beaten. Like that. The troubled female spirit is attacking another female spirit. I think she's been murdered. The man with the bayonet. This is the man that was choking on blood. I think that's how he's died. He's choked. The tortured soldier spirit also comes forward. So neither of them have gone through. No. At that right. Okay. No. We need to get them through. Mm. Sensing the torment of both spirits, the rescue mediums prepare for an immediate double rescue. This other man's there helping. Yeah. He's, 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 he's standing there. Combining forces with the gatekeeper, the rescue mediums begin the first rescue. Mm. 
Yes, it's going. It's going through. And now she can go through. The rescue mediums and the gatekeeper now focus on the troubled female spirit. She's standing up. She is ready to go. He's guiding her through. Yes. Going through. Both the troubled female presence and the soldier spirit have traveled into the light. This is where I always will be. I think we need a toast to him tonight, whoever he is. <laughs> we'll have a cheers to him. Coming up, Jackie and Alison present the results of their investigation. This is one of the busiest places that we've ever been to. And compare it to independent research and see what matches up. During the rescue medium's investigation of this haunted museum in Penetanguishene, a helper spirit aided them. That man's here again. OK, where well, are you trying to lead us to? In the rescue of a troubled female spirit. I can hear her screaming. And the spirit of a tortured soldier. We need to get them through. Mm. Now they sit down with the museum staff to present the results of their investigation. When we started the walkabout, I saw a man that said to us, get out of my way. <laughs> It's like, get out of my way, like, it's really important. The name of Charles was given as we were doing our rescue. Charles. Charles Beck was the gentleman. I think that this is Charles Beck. Mm -hmm. When you laid it on the table during the premonitions, we all went very emphatically, yes. This was his store, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Charles Beck, yeah, was the man who built the general store. That's right. But William Beck was the man who donated it back in 1967. Oh, be used only for a museum. Jackie and Alison believed that the helper spirit was one Charles Maximilian Beck. This drawing, made by Jackie days earlier, strongly resembles this archival photo of Charles Beck. Charles emigrated from Germany in 1855. Although penniless at the time, Charles Beck would become one of Penetanguishene's wealthiest industrialists. You have his obituary there, don't you? May the 12th, 1915. Charles' obituary states that he drowned when his buggy upset in Georgian Bay while the horse was drinking. The year was 1915, and Charles was 76. But why did the spirit of Charles Beck return to his store? In the Great Hall, as soon as I walked in, my legs buckled under me. I've just went dead weird when I come in here. In the Great Hall, you have an open portal. That is an open doorway to the spirit world. It's been opened by Charles Beck. This is a, a portal that's opened, yeah. but he's opened it. He's a gatekeeper. He's a he gatekeeper. He shows them how to go to the light. But there were two spirits whose needs exceeded Charles' ability as gatekeeper, requiring the rescue medium's help to send them into the light. I actually felt a bayonet in my back. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody stabbed him. I think it's the end of a bayonet. I wonder if it's a soldier, then. It's definitely a soldier. So, OK. Yeah. The man that we rescued was Charles Thompson Darling. Charles Thompson Darling was born in Penetanguishene in 1888. At the age of 27, he enlisted to fight in the First World War, battling in the infamous trenches of the Western Front. As these historical documents show, in 1916, Darling fought in France at the Battle of fleur Courcelette. That was the battle that, unfortunately, Charles Thompson Darling did not survive, and what we felt was he'd actually choked on his own blood. <coughs> Choking on my own blood. The Darling family owned this land before Beck mm -hmm. had this land. That's right. So he's trying to find his way home because this is where he comes from. Right. But what are the troubled female spirit? I can hear a screaming. I only know this person by the name of Sarah D. 
very strong images of her attacking another female. <laughs> She's being beaten. Oh my she God. is being beaten. She beat up her imbecile mother. Uh, she was certified insane in 1885. Picture here of um, the asylum. Documents reveal that after the attack of her mentally challenged mother, Sarah was incarcerated at the Penetanguishene Asylum for the Insane, where she would live out the rest of her life, dying within its stone walls in 1905. She has come in with something that's been brought in okay. from the asylum. Right, records or something. She could have come in with anything. And she could have been here a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I actually think that this is... That's wow, hers. that... Oh, yeah. yes, that makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? Wow. That's who you did have in your building. Now, you still will experience activity. You have so many artefacts here, some of which have got spirit attachments. Mm -hmm. Portal, which is manned by Charles Beck. He is the doorkeeper. If any artefacts come in that there's an attachment to, then they'll be sending them straight over to the light. Yeah. Yeah. How, how does the place feel, by the way? It just feels so good in here. Great. So we just yes. feel very privileged that you've been here and been yeah. able to do this for <laughs> us. And it's so much it's... more than what we expected. So oh, much. the museum for now, clear of spirits. I think we should do a group hug, actually. Very good. Yeah. Jackie and Alison bid farewell to the staff and dust off some artifacts for themselves. I tell you what was really difficult, trying to separate the spirits that needed to go to the light from those that, that were just helping. Really had a work cut out, you know, with yeah. it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We really yeah. did. I tell you what, though, Jackie, that one's finished now. I wonder what's in store for us now. Well, Alison, I think we've got it in the can. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.